Hi, and welcome to this section of the Differential Equations Tutor. Here we're really going to pick up exactly where we were just working a few uh, moments ago with variation of parameters and first order differential equations. Uh, we're just going to work a few uh, additional problems. I wanted to give a nice little break in the middle there. These next few problems are going to be a little bit lengthier, really not because the, the method is harder at all. It's just that the calculus gets in the way. You know what to do, but in order to take these derivatives or do these integrals, the steps are longer. So don't get discouraged, and please try not to look for shortcuts here. If you think you have to integrate a long expression, you probably really do have to do it. That's just the way differential equations is. So let's dive into our next problem. We'll say dx dt plus x times the tangent of t is equal to cosine of t. So this is a differential equation. Don't let the, um, the tangent and the cosine scare you, but it's already in standard form and it's already first order. You know, we don't have anything in front of this, so we don't have to divide anymore. And notice, this is a function of t uh, there by the x, and this is a function of t by itself. So it does fit the, um, the standard form. So what we need to do is follow our procedure. So this is what we're calling the non-homogeneous form. So let's go ahead and make the homogeneous version, dx d t plus x times the tangent of t is equal to zero. This is going to be what we call the homogeneous version. And we're going to solve this and we'll get a uh, kind of an interim solution that will then we'll find the, uh, the full-blown solution uh, after we do that. So the first thing we need to do is separate variables. So let's move this term over to the other side, dx dt is equal to negative x times tangent of t. And then we'll continue separating by moving dt over. So we'll have dx is equal to negative x times tangent t dt. And then we'll move x over here to get it 1 over x. dx is equal to negative tangent t dt. So we've made good progress in our separation of variables. Let's integrate both sides. So we'll have 1 over x dx is equal to negative tangent t dt. So we're going to integrate both sides of that equation, and this is going to look like exactly like it did before. This is going to be a natural log of x. And over here, how do you integrate tangent of t? Well, this is what I'm kind of saying. Sometimes, you know, in calculus or in differential equations, um, the calculus gets in the way sometimes. So how do you integrate that? I mean, you can look in a table of integrals and find out what the integral of tangent is. But if you remember, tangent is just sine of t divided by cosine of t. So once you write it like that, you might then start to see something. Because if I say, if I say then that u is equal to cosine of t on the bottom, and then I say du is equal to the derivative of cosine is negative sine of t dt, and then I solve for dt, so I can plug it back in here. So I say dt is equal to 1 over negative sine t du. And then I can put this uh, substitution in place and make some progress. So let's see what we get here. We'll have on the left natural log of x. That's not going anywhere. On the right, we'll have the integral of negative sine t over cosine t. But we said that was equal to u times dt, but we just found dt is equal to this stuff. So it's negative 1 over 